instead of trying to get into their realities to make yourself happy. Don't chase women to make you happy. Get happy first and then invite women into your life. So in this video, I want to talk about why being yourself is the worst dating advice pretty much anybody could ever give. And in reality, I'm going to contradict myself right now. Being yourself is actually the best and worst dating advice that anybody could give you. The reason that is, is that if you truly know who you are, you have a powerful sense of self, your boundaries, what you love, what you don't love, and you're a confident individual. Yeah, being yourself is the best dating advice ever. Just be yourself because I love myself. I feel solid. I feel good about myself. But if you haven't figured out that place where you actually enjoy being you, you enjoy being in your own body, you can have fun with or without a beautiful woman, you have a great reality that you invite women into, then being yourself is actually the worst dating advice ever. You see, most guys uh, that go out to learn to meet women are trying to figure out how to get into a woman's reality by getting into her pants. You see, if they get into a woman's reality, they start to feel validated, they start to feel important, they start to feel good about themselves. And in reality, uh, they're trying to get their sense of value from the woman. And the reason they're doing that is they don't really know who they are. They don't know what makes them happy. They don't know what they like. And they're trying to get it from the woman. So if you tell a guy like that, that's that insecure, that's that nervous, that doesn't know how to go out by himself and take himself out on a date and have a good time, doesn't know how to relax around beautiful women and have a great time, whether the women give him attention or not, and that's a big key right there that doesn't know how to hang out with a beautiful woman, have a great time, whether she's happy or not, why he's hanging out with her, doesn't know how to go out on a date and have fun, whether his date is happy or not. Well, if you tell that guy just to be himself, he's not gonna know how to be himself because he doesn't know how to enjoy his own reality. He doesn't know how to relax in his own body. He doesn't know how to be himself. This is why we talk so much about embodiment on this channel, emotional and energetic embodiment. You gotta learn to feel your own body feel your own spine, drop into your, your lower body, to get grounded, to feel your heart, to feel your turn on, to enjoy being you before you can just be yourself with a beautiful woman. If you can't enjoy you, you'll never enjoy yourself with a beautiful woman. It's just not going to happen. You can try and try and try, but it's not gonna happen. So the first thing I would say, and this is what we work heavily on in our advanced workshops, is teaching men to really like themselves to enjoy their own reality, to go out and, and invite women into a powerful reality, to say, what do you like? What do you want? What you're gonna notice is if you don't have this powerful reality and you go out to meet a girl, you're immediately going to start to lean in, trying to get validation from her, trying to get her to like you, and you're gonna beat yourself up when if she doesn't. You see, you're gonna get rejected a lot. Even guys that are good with girls get rejected a lot. They just don't notice it. They don't care. They don't take it personal. It's unimportant. It's all fun and, and games. They don't, it doesn't really matter. But guys that are bad with women, every time they get rejected, it's, a, it's like they're either angry at the women, angry at themselves, angry at life. They take it all personal. And that's an indication that you really don't know how to enjoy you. If you need her to like you, to enjoy you, you still haven't figured that out. So I want to invite you into this idea that it's time to start, in a weird sort of way, dating yourself. Take yourself out, figure out what you like, figure out what you want, find hobbies, things you love to do that are separate from women that are your personal passions. Figure out um, how to just sit and be with yourself, meditation, yoga, how to uh, feel your own body. If you can get into actual embodiment where you're learning to relax into your own body and just be, being able to look at a painting and see the beauty in it, being able to listen to music and just enjoy the music and figure out what makes you happy. And then once you've got that, once you've got that figured out, I wanna invite you to start to slowly invite people into those realities. Talk about those realities when you go out, connect with people through those realities, invite people into them instead of trying to get into their realities to make yourself happy. Don't chase women to make you happy. Get happy first and then invite women into your life. That's the real key. So once you reach that point where you're really, let's say 80% of the time, a pretty happy guy, whether you have a woman or not in your life, you enjoy life either way, that you have passions and you get turned on for life, not just because of women, you get turned on for doing your art, your music, going to your career, building your business. 
and you start to invite women into that, now you're heading down the right track. If you're still having trouble from there, then, then you should definitely take a deeper look at who you're being inside. And one of the ways you can do that is check out some of our workshops because we'll help you take a deeper look. Sometimes looking at yourself is the toughest thing. It's really hard. It's really hard to see what's going on with you. But when you get an outside person's perspective, just like anything, sometimes the elusive obvious becomes more obvious. So at that point, if you've figured all that out, you've got this great life and you're still having trouble, come check out the Fearless Man Live. Come check out a Fearless Experience. And you're gonna find that, uh, that the answer was probably always right in front of you, that it's probably something small at that point. So get out there, learn to love yourself, take yourself out on some dates, take yourself out and have some adventures, figure out your life, start to enjoy it, and then start to invite women into it. And what I would like you guys to do is comment below. What is it that you love to do? What is it that you're, you've been maybe obsessing over women and you've walked away from? Maybe you love music and the guitar and you haven't picked it up in months because you're out trying to meet women every night and you're finding yourself getting more and more reactive chasing girls. Maybe you need to take a little more time with the guitar. Maybe you love going to the gym and you stop going to the gym. Maybe you need to take a little more time with the gym. Take a little time for you. What about taking yourself out on a nice dinner? I mean, one of the first things I ever read was a book called Feeling Good by a man named Burns. And the, one of the first things I ever did from that book was dress myself up and take myself to a nice restaurant for myself, by myself. Why? Because if I won't treat myself as an important individual, why would a woman? I took myself out to learn to love myself. And then I invited women into that reality. So comment below, what are you doing to love yourself? What are you doing to care for yourself? And, uh, and if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. It's really important to us. It helps us to grow the channel, helps us to put out more videos for you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure to hit that notifications button so you don't miss a single video. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video. Oh,